Nick O'Donnell, tribute speech. The Holocaust was a dark time in human history. Six million Jews were killed by the Nazis. But out of this horrific event come some inspiring people, such as Oskar Schindler and Karl Lutz, who risked their lives during the Holocaust to save Jews. I'm here to tell you about another inspiring person, Raoul Wallenberg. Raoul Wallenberg deserves tribute in two ways. His actions to save the lives of many Jews during the Holocaust, and also because his actions would result in his tragic death. Raoul was born August 4, 1912, in Sweden. The Wallenbergs were a wealthy family in Sweden, composed of bankers and diplomats. Raoul's parents died when he was very young, so his extended family helped raise him. Raoul's grandfather, Gustav, made sure that Raoul had top-notch education throughout high school. In 1931, Raoul traveled to the United States to study architecture at the University of Michigan. In 1935, Raoul worked in South Africa, but then eventually moved to Palestine, where he first saw Jews who had escaped Nazi Germany. Now, the Holocaust was not in full effect at this time, but negative attitudes towards Jews started to begin. A few years later, Raoul became a Swedish diplomat, traveled to France, Germany, and Hungary, where he saw what was happening to the Jews living there. In 1944, the United States established the War Refugee Board, an organization to help against the persecution of Jews by the Nazis. Raoul was then recruited by this board and sent to Nazi-occupied Budapest, Hungary to stage as a Swedish diplomat. Now, Raoul could have not taken this job, but he wanted the opportunity to save people who we thought were worth saving. One reason why Raoul deserves tribute is because of his selfless actions in Budapest. Nearly 200,000 Jews were in Budapest when Raoul arrived, but thousands were being shipped out every day to death camps. Raoul had to work fast in order to save as many Jews as he possibly could. He started by issuing Swedish protective passes, which meant that if a Jewish person had one of these, they could not be deported by the Nazis. Raoul also used the money from the United States to buy large buildings in Budapest. He would then put signs on these buildings indicating that they were part of the Swedish legation. He would then hide thousands of Jews in each building. Raoul also stopped a massacre in one of Budapest's largest ghettos when he threatened the Nazi general with war crimes if he were to kill all the Jews there. Now, Raoul wasn't afraid to step up to the Nazis, who could have just easily killed him and moved on, but they admired his courage. Judith Wiesman, a Holocaust survivor, thanks to Raoul, said, Wallenberg did everything humanly possible and more to save us. Through Raoul's brave and selfless actions, nearly 100,000 Jews were saved in Budapest when the Soviets liberated it in 1945. The second reason why Raoul deserves tribute is because he basically sacrificed himself for the people he saved. When the Soviets liberated Budapest in 1945, Raoul was arrested for the suspicion of being an American spy. Raoul was then sent to Moscow and imprisoned. For two years he was in a prison cell until on July 17, 1947, he died of a heart attack. Through the 1960s and the 1970s, the Swedish government tried to unravel this case. However, the Soviet government kept saying that Raoul died of a heart attack and that the case was closed. For almost 30 years, Raoul did not receive any recognition until the United States declared Raoul an honorary citizen in 1981. We may never know for sure how Raoul died, but what we do know is that we died believing that what he did was right. Raoul Wallenberg was a brave man. He risked his life for, the peop for people he didn't even know. He went above and beyond to save as many Jews as he possibly could. He was then wrongfully imprisoned and died tragically. For a while, no one knew what he did, but now he is recognized in many countries as a hero. What Raoul did to save the lives of many people does not only deserve recognition, but also tribute. Thank you.